is like when we use the apple cider rinse in the um, sink. So I went to the beauty supply store and I couldn't record in there, but I picked up this um, this cream of nature um, apple cider vinegar clarifying rinse. It says it removes product buildup, seals the cuticles, helps protect the natural pH of hair, res refreshes scalp. This was $5.99 um, and it's a 15.5 fluid ounce bottle. Um, it says to use this either as a shampoo replacement or after shampooing to close the cuticles and seal and shine before conditioning, after co-wash to remove any remaining buildup, weekly clarifying. Um, so I'm going to use this in my hair first because I want to clarify my hair and then I'm going to shampoo my hair. Um, I still have that tea tree shampoo. I'm just going to finish the rest of it before I go on to use anything else. I don't like to waste my money. <laughs> so I definitely am going to do this. And this is good because from what I'm thinking is like when we use the apple cider rinse in the um, sink, it seems like this will be almost like the equivalent of it, except you're just using it. Um, I mean, I guess you can use it all over, but I'm just going to use this on my scalp because my scalp has been really uh, itchy. Sorry, y'all. I worked out, so um, I'm still a little sweaty. So, yeah, let's go ahead and use this. Is you
So I know you guys are wondering, what kind of ghetto crap is this shade? Like, how are you going to record all nice and proper? And then and now it look like your hair been done for, like, it has been a week. I ain't going to lie to you. It's been a week. I washed, I retwisted my hair and everything, recorded the retwisting portion, and, uh, reviewed the product that I used for that, but I forgot to review the um, apple cider vinegar uh, thingy madoodly. I forgot to tell you what I think about her. And you see I barely used any with this whole 15.5 um, fluid ounce bottle but i will say that i do like the product um uh it was drippy as to be expected because it's apple cider vinegar duh um but i will give it a 10 out of 10 well i will give it an 8 out of 10 because the distribution uh the the bottle part of it i didn't really like that part um, maybe because I'm so accustomed to like my squeeze tops from my uh, Covet oil that I'm so used to that. I feel like if it had that type of top, it would have been better to distribute over uh, the scalp. But it did leave my scalp um, really clean, uh, really clear. And I have a tendency that when I wash my hair, my scalp still itches a little bit after. I'm not necessarily, this is bugging me. Wait a minute. There we go. Sorry. So I, um, I love the product. You guys give it a try. I will put it in the description box below as to where you can purchase it. And when you do try it out, let me know what you think in comparison to the regular apple cider vinegar uh, rinse with the apple cider vinegar, the baking soda, and the warm water. Let me know what you guys think in comparison from this um, to the homemade one. Uh, remember this can be used for your scalp, I mean your locks as well. It'll be a little bit more messier, I feel like. You could do it in the shower, which I didn't think about it. I could have done that in the shower because you only supposed to keep it in for like three minutes. I could have done that in the shower and let just let it hang out. I'll try that next time. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm so sorry that I forgot the most important part. Like, duh. Um, yeah, so I will talk to you guys later. See you later, so I get a lay. Crash course, let me hide the money in the dashboard. Max mad, could you lost the brick inside the Porsche? Goofy with the curb.